This session is titled Transitions in Support of a Blue Economy for Aotearoa New Zealand. The session will focus on landing sustainable seas research and commercial operations to support transitions to a blue economy across the sectors. The aim is to introduce the blue economy principles developed by the challenge as a guide to action on blue economy and to focus on uptake and what it takes to build a blue economy. Can we please welcome back to the stage Julie Hall, Director, Sustainable Seas. So um, I'm here on behalf of a whole group of people involved in the challenge to talk about the development of a set of blue economy principles for the challenge. And I want to go back to where I started this morning and just go back to the objective we had for the challenge and where we're going. And we're really, in this part of the day, talking very much about the blue economy. And we have the definition of what we mean when we say blue economy. Now, early on in the challenge, when we were starting the work on ecosystem-based management, we developed a set of principles for ecosystem-based management. We had a definition and people saying, well, what does it really mean? How do we work with this? So we have done the same thing for the blue economy. So blue economy principles, why have we done them? We want to inform regulation and policy with government. We want to support businesses to transition from where they are through to a blue economy business. Some people are already there. There's a, a lot that are thinking about it, and there's a lot, to be honest, haven't thought about it at all. But we want to help with that transition. We want to provide guidance to our stakeholders and Maori partners. What can they expect? Can they be talking to their iwi? their businesses about becoming a part of the blue economy. And what's really important is that these are part of a set of principles that will go across sectors. So they're high level. In terms of how we came, how we came to develop them, and this work was facilitated by Catherine Short and Tony Craig from Terra Moana, the first thing was to build on the research that Challenge has already done and was to draw on the international literature about blue economy principles, and that's quite wide ranging. Um, a number of organisa international organisations have developed blue economy principles, but we needed something that was unique to New Zealand. They interviewed a range of Maori partners and stakeholders, and they drafted a set of principles. The leadership team then had some somewhat tense, tense discussions about the interpretation of words and what particular words or sentences meant in terms of a blue economy. But we came out with a set of principles. They were then tested, with, again, with Maori partners and stakeholders. What do you think of these? Get our feedback. And the, the feedback was probably reasonably balanced, so they were probably just about right. And then we went back to the leadership team. We had another couple of tense discussions. And we have a set of working blue economy principles. The six principles in this suite, and I just want to give a brief um, introduction to each of them. So te mana o te, te te ao, absolutely critical in New Zealand. This is about New Zealand, and we must be working with the treaty. We must be taking a treaty-led approach, and we've heard today already about the health and well-being of the Moana being prioritised. We've heard it from Tamar, we've heard it from Joe. We need to be thinking about it and have it front and centre. We also need to be respecting the rights of tangata whenua and providing for tikanga and mataranga Māori. So that leads off as the first principle. This one might look a little bit about like the EBM principles that intergenerational, that long-term intergenerational sustainability. Looking at long-term and holistic governance and management to support the moana and provide that long-term social, cultural, environmental and economic well-being. We need to be thinking 
about that at the intergenerational timescales. We've heard quite a bit about re restoration already today. We need to be regenerating our degraded marine ecosystem. So looking at practices and actively supporting and restoring ecosystem health. There's ways of doing that. There's ways of business contributing to that. We want everything to be prosperous, and not just in the definition of economic prosperity. But we want productivity, we want sustainability. Resilience has become a very important word in the last couple of months. And we want to be enhancing the ocean and so that reciprocity, giving back, and ocean-dependent livelihoods. Inclusivity. We want to be working with communities. We all have our own values and benefits we get from the ocean. Mine is walking on a deserted beach with no footprints. That's a value I hold very dear. Others will have other values, but they need to be thought about. And the final one, accountable. Decision-making, reporting frameworks that consider natural, social, cultural effects and the active uses of marine resources and the proposed uses of the marine resources going forward. So we have a set of blue economy principles. These are not set in stone. These are the starting point of a journey for us to transitioning to a blue economy. So we'll be releasing these publicly with a report and guidelines in April, so there'll be a little bit more flesh on the bones than I've just presented. As I said, we're at the start of that journey, and as Conrad mentioned earlier today, there's not an end point, it is a journey, and that journey is very important. And it's very important that we're taking people with us, and there's no one size fits all in how businesses, organisations take that journey. They will all be different. And that means we need to be communicating, we need to be collaborating, and we need to be willing to learn. We need to be prepared to have discussions about these principles. They will get tweaked, just like the ecosystem-based management principles were tweaked as well. So over the next three days, I um, encourage you to discuss the principles, talk about the next step for these. Again, I remind you, leadership team have blue, blue name tags on talk to them about it, but also be prepared to talk to us after the conference. You'll all have thoughts about these and say, wow, this is missing, or hey, have you thought about that? Or actually, we're really excited about this and how can we work with you? That's one we really want to hear. Um, so that's the introduction to the Blue Economy Principles that have been developed um, by Sustainable Seas. Thank you.